Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and this is question number five from the Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level October 2021 exam. This is a question here um, about sequences. It says a company that owns a silver mine extracted 480 tons of silver from the mine in year one. And 465 tons of silver from the mine in year two. 450 tons of silver from the year mine in year three. So you can see that's reducing and so on forming an arithmetic sequence. So first of all, um, keywords, it's an arithmetic sequence. We don't have to, we don't have to kind of um, figure that out because they've told us that. And the other thing that's really important, these type of questions, especially these applications of um, um, sequences questions, is that the, 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 the amount is in tons, 480 tons. Okay, in tons. So that's very important for us to realize because when we write answer down, many students don't write the unit down and they put 480. Okay, they don't write the, you know, 480 tons and they lose marks. So you must make sure that you take note of that. Okay, so they're asking us to find the mass of silver extracted in year 14. So this is an arithmetic sequence and they're asking us for a the mass in a particular year. So if we're looking for a particular term, we're not looking for a sum of terms in this part of the question. So we're going to be using the formula un equals a plus n minus 1 times d. This is for an arithmetic sequence, and this tells you a particular term. Now we need to know what a is, which is the first term, which of course, this is 480 tons. I'll write 480, but we know that's in tons. The common difference is um, how to get from one term to the other. So you take a term and you subtract the one before it. And you can see each time when you take a term and subtract the term before it, you get negative 15. Negative 15. Okay, 65, um, 75, 80. That's right. So the common difference is negative 15. And um, n, the number of terms we want, is we want up to the, we want the 14. The um, amount extracted in year 14, so that's the 14th term, so n equals 14. So if we just substitute those values now into the formula, the 14th term is going to be a, which is 480, plus n, which is 14 minus 1, which is, that's going to be 13, times d, which is minus 15. n minus 1 will be 13, so that's going to give us our answer. So we just take a calculator, 480, plus 13 times negative 15 and that gives us <clears throat> 285 so you can say 200 root 14 is 285 okay therefore you can say in year 14 in year 14 285 tons okay were extracted. Extracted. Okay, so when you write your answer down, you must mention the unit tons. Okay, very important. Then part B says, after a total of 7,770 tons of silver were extracted, the company stopped mining. Given that this occurred at the end of year N, show that N squared minus 65N plus 1,036 is equal to zero. Okay, so this now they're, they're telling us about the total amount of tons that were extracted over the years. So this time we're looking for the formula for the sum of n terms, which is given by n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So we're looking for a total sum of all the terms up to the year n. So again, we know that a is equal to 480, and we know d is negative 15. And N is capital N this time. We're going to use this formula now. So we say the sum of the... And we also know that the sum for uh, this number of years, N years, is 7,770. So we can basically just uh, replace these things in this formula. So I can say that N over 2, so capital N over 2, times 2 times 480... 2a plus capital N minus 1 times uh, d, d, which we know is negative 15, times negative 15 
all of that is going to give you 7770 so I can um, multiply everything by 2 and I can also expand this bracket so 960 and I'll have um, minus 15 that's be minus 15 n and plus 15 is equal to 7770 times 2 so 7770 times 2 gives you 15,540, 15,540. Okay, so now I can um, simplify this. This is N, and this is going to be 975 minus 15N is equal to 15,540. So this gives me uh, 975N minus 15N squared equals 15,540. Be careful here. Okay, so now if we rearrange this, we can bring everything onto the side where the n squared would be positive. So I'll end up with getting 15n squared minus 975n plus 15,540 equals zero. And we have to show this, so I'm pretty sure that if we divide by 15, we will get these numbers. So n squared minus, let's just to make to make sure, divide this by 15, you get exactly get 1036. And 975 divided by 15 should give us 65. Yes, it does. So that's negative, that's minus 65 n. So now we have shown exactly what we have been asked to show so as required we have now shown that okay so we just used the sum formula and replaced um, the sum with 7770 and we have all the other information and there's the answer to part B now for part C it says hence state the value of n okay so now we need to basically solve this equation so you have n squared minus 65 n 65n plus 1036 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this equation, we need to factorize this. It's worth one mark. It's a bit strange, actually, to be honest, because they do state that in you know, P1, P2, you should use a quadratic formula um, to show you factorizing. Uh, so it's always safer to do so. In, in a case like this, you can either... I mean, to, solve, to not use a quadratic formula to factorize, to use a quadr quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation, or use a quadratic, or use factorizing, sorry. To factorize this would be a bit difficult, just like, you know, think of numbers that multiply to give you this and add to give you that. You know, they're both going to be negative, um, but it might be difficult, so it might be quicker for you just to quickly use a quadratic formula. So you have n equals minus b, so it's minus, minus, remember the, the quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So you have minus b, which is minus minus 65, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is going to be negative 65 all squared, um, minus 4ac, so 4 times 1, is the coefficient of n squared times c which is 1036 all over 2a which is 2 times 1. So this will give us if we um, use the quadratic formula we'll end up with 65 because that's going to become positive plus the square root of 65 squared because again that will be positive uh, minus 4 times 1 times 1036 all over 2 times 1 which is 2 now that gives us 37 or and we have the other value when you put a minus there 65 minus or 28 all right so we have two answers they're both positive okay so which one do we choose some people say, oh, we can't. if it's a negative one, we reject the negative one. Uh, that's quite obvious. You can't have a negative, um, you know, 
<coughs> term here because it's a number of years um, after they started mining. Now, the key here is to look at the question where it says, after a total of 7,770 tons of silver were extracted, the company stopped mining. So they would have reached that sum when N is 28. Okay, and then they would have stopped mining. Okay, so therefore, we say N is equal to 28. Of course, it doesn't make any sense that, you know, um, they're going to reach uh, the same sum with in, the, in, in term 37 because basically what happens with this type of quadratic equation something like this is going to go it's going to reach a minimum and go up again so there's going to be a, a value it's possible that this goes below zero which it, it obviously does okay it's going to go below zero and then it's going to increase again so then the number of uh, you know quadratic if you if you think about a quadratic equation and solving it you're going to have like sometimes some negative values which don't make sense so um, obviously, um, you know, if if they reach this value or this this sum in uh, you know in year twenty eight, okay, and then you know the, the increases and then it decreases again. When it starts decreasing again, how can it be that um, you know you have a negative amount of of silver mined, okay, for it to go back down to seven thousand seven hundred seventy? So it doesn't really make sense that you can have you know two answers for this so the first time it reaches that value you know that's going to be the answer you can think about it in terms of they stop mining as soon as they reach this amount and therefore n equals 28 n equals 37 doesn't make any sense in this particular context of this question okay it solves this quadratic equation but in the context of this question it doesn't really make sense so the, the you always take in this case these type of cases the lower value of the year Okay, so that's the answer for number five, which is about sequences. Other questions from this paper, October 2021, you can find it in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions from the topic of sequences from P2 can be found in this playlist that should appear in this area here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching and see you soon.